You're watching Good Morning Britain. Despite a very difficult start to life, eight-year-old double amputee Tony Hudgel has become an inspiration <clears throat> to us all. Now, he's raised £1.8 million for charity, been awarded a Pride of Britain award, and he was even hailed a hero by none other than Prince William. Hmm. And this weekend, Tony was gifted a dream trip to Lapland as a reward for all that fundraising. Didn't go well. On his way home, he was left stranded at Gatwick Airport for more than five hours without his specially adapted wheelchair. It was just basically stuck on the plane. His family say that when it finally arrived, it was damaged into the bargain. It's one of the many cases, according to the Civil Aviation Authority this morning, who say that far too many disabled passengers have to wait unacceptable amounts of time for assistance. Well, Tony and his mum, Paula, join us now from their home in Kent. Good morning to you both. Uh, good morning, Paula. I I'm sorry this happened. It was meant mm. to be such a, a lovely good weekend. Morning. You were delayed leaving as well, I know. But, I mean... <sighs> It seems, certainly from my experience of air travel, that you always see the, wheelchair, the wheelchairs coming off first. I mean, it's, it's, it's a given. They're the first things off, way ahead of the bags, they're brought round, and then you're on your merry way. What, what did you realise things were going wrong? Um, well, uh, going out was an absolute dream. Uh, as soon as we got uh, uh, over to Finland, they brought the wheelchair straight to us and uh, off we went to collect our baggage. Um, sadly, it didn't happen this end. Um, I know that it was an extremely difficult night for everybody with the snow and the extra pressures and everything, but we landed um, at Gatwick just after midnight. Um, we waited on the plane for 40 minutes with the captain keep pushing for our Tony's wheelchair to be brought to um, the plane door. Um, it didn't arrive, so there was special assistance to get off um, the plane and take us to baggage reclaim where they said they would meet us there with the wheelchair mm. um, and we kept waiting and waiting uh, a couple of hours went by and it was very very difficult because obviously to try and put Tony um, anywhere there was no seats in the uh, baggage reclaim for him to sit on um, it was extremely difficult for everybody there were children crying and what have you um, and it was four and a half hours before it finally came out after lots of um, chats to different members of staff that all said they couldn't help and um, what have you, apart from Border Force, who were amazing, and even went to the plane to try and get his wheelchair off. I mean, we would have left the airport. If we had his wheelchair, we would have left the airport and collected the baggage at a later time. Um, that wasn't the issue. And then when it did come, it came through on the um, carousel, which it sh apparently it shouldn't have done, um, and the anti-tip bar was uh, twisted into the spoke bar of the um, wheelchair, which at first we thought it was really damaged. And other than a few chips and everything, it is OK, but that's not the point, that he was left four and a half hours, in theory, without his legs. I don't see anybody else being able to manage without their legs for four and a half hours. No, absolutely. And, of course, we know things go wrong. Um, uh, and, as you say, it was an exceptional weekend for weather. Uh, and I'm sure there were many individuals that were devastated to see you in the mess you're in. But just explain what it feels like for you and for Tony, because you're already up against it, aren't you? There's already a challenge getting anywhere. There's already a challenge trying to make life work with um, the disabilities you have. So I think that's where it must feel bad, because you don't want to be the one sitting there unable to move any more than, than, you know, anybody does. And you must feel especially vulnerable at that point. Yeah, absolutely. As you well know, Kate, um, how difficult it is when, you know, there, there is a disability there. Um, you know, you want to try and keep life as normal as possible. And, you know, I, I want Tony to be as independent as he possibly can be as he gets older. You know, I want him to be able to be, as an adult, to be able to travel the world if he wants to, you know, and he could be on his own. And if that had been the case, you know, as an adult, he would have been left in a wheelchair that cannot be moved on... Um, by yourself, you have to have somebody push you. So, you know, how would you have got to the toilet? How would you have, you know, been able to do anything? Um, it, it was extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, and I mean, I, I, it, it only seemed to get a reaction once I tweeted a post at like four hours after we were waiting for the wheelchair. Um, and I mean, that was in desperation then that, you know, we needed that wheelchair. He, he wouldn't have been able to go to school, you know. 
Well, we look, sorry? we've got some, you were, I think Richard was asking, sorry, we, we've got some sorries for you. Um, a Gatwick Airport spokesman said they are aware of the awful situation, totally apologised to you for the distress cause, said it's unacceptable and I'm picking it up as a matter of urgency with the airline Jet 2 and the ground handler and also Jet 2 holidays have said that they wanted to sincerely apologise to you uh, and for any inconvenience called and uh, confirmed that the delay was due to Gatwick Airport being temporarily closed due to the snow. I suppose there's a wider picture here, isn't there, where these things crop up that you must want to appeal for. And I'd also like to ask you as well uh, if you could tell us if you did have a nice time when you were away. Tony. Tony, Good time, yeah. Tony. Yes, it was very, very good. good. We had the most amazing time, um, wonderful memories. Um, it was just what we needed after this year as well. Um, wasn't sure whether I was actually going to be able to make the trip, but I was. So um, it was just absolutely wonderful that, you know, we had that family time that we so oh. needed. Well, Tony, well, thank Tony, you. Tony you've, absolutely, you've absolutely... They were absolutely amazing. Tony, you absolutely earned it, mate. Absolutely. Well, congr congratulations. We're so glad you had a good time out there anyway. Um, maybe you can put this awful experience at the airport behind you now. And hopefully you've raised awareness and helped others that don't have to go through what absolutely. you do. That would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Lovely absolutely. to speak to both of you that, this that, morning. That's more what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, quite. Yeah. Thank, Thank you both you very both. much. Thank, Thank you. you.